I go to YouTube, IMAX, and today I want to open six of my remaining LOB and IOC double blister packs. And yeah, for today I didn't unpack them before starting the video, so uh, you can just watch me do it. With uh, six blisters, it shouldn't take that long. You might hear that I'm a little bit, I wouldn't call it sick, but uh, my nose is pretty filled up with all sorts of nasty stuff that you don't want to have in there, but whatever. No COVID, yay. <laughs> uh, so if I'm sounding a little bit off, that's that. I can still open some packs. Maybe I pull a red medicine. <laughs> I think that's an LOB. Or some other Doctor cards. Which Doctor of Chaos in IOC. But please no uh, Ultra Evolution pill. Because. I don't want whatever I have to mutate. <laughs> I think that's enough. Whoops. Enough of uh, bad puns. For now. Oh no. Oh, what? Nice. Actually. <coughs> ah. Actually, that's a very nice pull. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. That gets a sleeve. It's uh, the Dual Devastator version. Okay, so... Uh, sometimes there are decent cards in here. Oh, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Not too bad. Of course, it's not a Ghost Bell, but... Uh, it's a god card. What else? Um, okay. <laughs> um, do I even have to open the packs now? Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Did I ever say the promo cards were bad? <laughs> I probably did. But um, today they are not bad at all. And there are three more left. Let's see. Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay, that's nothing too special, I think. Oh, more hand traps. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Of course, not not as uh, expensive as Ash Blossom, but still, maybe that's that's around a euro, I think. And there should be one somewhere in here. Yeah, there we go. Eternal Galaxy from Cybernetic Horizon. So, um, that's a great start. Not uh, Eternal Galaxy, but Ash Blossom and Ghost Bell. So that's six LOB, six Invasion of Chaos. And let's start with the booster packs. From 12 packs, I'm expecting to get one ultra rare and two supers. Maybe a secret if I'm lucky. Stealth Bird, Blazing and Pachi, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Chaos Sock, nice, Stray Lamps, Earth Chant, Dawn Turtle, Tower of Babel, and Fiend's Hand Mirror. To save me some. Um, some time of sorting out all the different cards. I'm opening IOC and then I'm going to open whoops, another Chaos Sock and then I'm going to open LOB. Compulse, nice. Recycle, Still Feed, Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell and Neobug.
Soul Tiger. Primal Seed. So I just need BLS or CED to be able to uh, uh, <coughs> to activate it. Curse of Darkness, the card I'm pulling every single time. Now I just need Getsukuma. That's another one I'm pulling like. It seems like always. Three packs into IOC. Three more to go. DD Borderline. Smashing Ground, Boganian, Stealth Bird, lots of burn in here, Robin Zombie, Ojama Black, Prickle Fairy, there we go, and there's another one, Thunder Crash, and Fiend's Hand Mirror again. IOC is not too kind to me at the moment. Give me a Dimension Fusion, please. Inferno. Pinch Hopper, Blasting the Ruins, Stumbling, so no, no foil in here as well, Drilago, Fiend Sand Mirror again, Sacred Crane, Molten Zombie, and DNA Transplant. Uh, I mean, I can't complain after pulling Ash, but I'd rather have some, some banger pulls out of IOC. Or maybe out of LOB. So six packs of IOC, second compulse, self-destruct button is nice. But no foil in here. LOB has to hit big. Or else I think that opening will not be considered great, even with the promos. Frenzied Panda, Hinotama Soul. There we go, Red Medicine, I asked for it, and I'm instantly, uh, not healed, but, whoop, the 13th Grave, Darkfire Dragon, nice, good rare, in my opinion, Basic Insect, the Furious Seeking, Petit Angel, and Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. Darkfire Dragon is solid, it's an instant fusion target, it's a dark dragon type monster, so... Some decks might use it. Beast Fangs. Spike Seedra. Trial of Nightmare. Follow Wind. Fusionist. Not as good as Darkfire Dragon, but still okay, I think. Kurama. And Mystical Moon. Where's Giant Soldier of Stone? And where are the Hollows? Mizaruzame, Root Water, Umi, Urabi, yay, Sharubin the Fire Knight, so another fusion rare, Silver Fang and Sogan with Steel Ogre Grotto number one, ending the pack. So, what did I say? Two supers and an ultra? It's still possible, but rather unlikely. Raby again. Forest M Warrior number two. Mammoth Graveyard. Flame Ghost. More fusions, yay. Firegrass. Ray and Temperature. Sandstone. And Witty Phantom. Monster Egg, Lesser Dragon, Petit Dragon, and there we go, Secret Rare Gaia the Dragon Champion, cool. Um, that's something nice at least, and Reaper of the Cards, classic with 1380 and uh, 1930 stats. Yeehaw. I think I pulled more Trihorn Dragons than Gaia's out of those Reaper packs, so um, it's nice. Uh, if Gaia catches up a little. Reaper of the Cards, Nemoriko, Tripwire Beast, Basic Insect, and the Furious Seeking. I think when I did uh, one of my first scaling experiment videos, I opened quite a similar amount of packs, maybe even more than uh, in this one. 
and I did only pull one Trihorn Dragon and no other foils. So that reminds me of uh, that situation. It's the same over here, just one LOB secret and nothing else, not even a pot of greed in rare. So, yeah, yeah, that's not cool. But again, the promos were nice. Gaia out of LOB. That was not a promo, that was an actual pull. Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, Winged Dragon of Ra, and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Um, I think I will open the other 12 blisters that I have in a way that I will have an IOC video with 12 packs and an LOB video with 12 packs, so stay tuned for those. Thank you for watching, consider commenting if you like my stuff, or, or if you have any suggestions what I can change, or if it's okay like it is today. Hehe. <laughs> See you in the next video, hopefully, and as always, stay safe and goodbye.